Hello, it's Miss Marilyn. Happy Tuesday. Today, we are going to talk about clocks and the concept of time. Way back in March, I read the book, How to Tell Time, so we dabbled in it a little bit. But I have a special treat for today. I have time-telling clocks that we're going to work with. What you need to do, if you are able, is at home, find a clock or a watch, something that you can use so that you can play along with your family. If you don't have an analog, ooh, that's a word we're gonna learn, talk about in a minute, an analog clock at home, then you can just uh, listen and, and uh, see what's going on in the video, okay? An analog clock. What is an analog clock? Let me turn the camera around and show you. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. These are analog clocks. The alternative is digital. That's when the time is just written out. That's digital. And when it looks like a clock, that's analog. Analog. Digital. Analog. Digital. Let's compare the clocks that I have lined up here. This is a large analog clock. This is a medium analog clock. And this is a small analog clock. Let me pan out so that we can compare the sizes. On the left is a large analog clock. In the middle is a medium analog clock. And on the right is a small analog clock. And I panned out so far, oh, oh, there is the boxes that the analog clocks came out of. And a little something else. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Look at that that we're gonna do a little later. But I thought the first thing that we would do with our lesson today, let's play with the clock in the middle because unlike the large analog clock or the small analog clock, we can take the numbers out of this one and we can work on number placement with an analog clock. Here we go, I'll flip it out. Let's turn our numbers around and we are going to the numbers back into the clock. And look, if we look, we can do some counting of pictures that will help us get the numbers in the right place. Oh, let's start, we'll go chronologically, which is a very fancy word for in order. What do we see here? One tractor. So, I turn these off. I don't wanna put them in order, I wanna make this a little bit challenging. We need to look for number one. Let's scan and look. If you're at home and you're not able to see this, have your family help you to hold up one finger so you feel number one. <gasps> number one. There it is. We did a lot of scanning of the numbers, huh? There's one, red number one. 
let's put it in our number one slot. There it goes. What do we have next? Dinosaurs. How many dinosaurs do we see? One, two. If you're at home, get your families to help you hold up two fingers. That's one, two. Okay, let's look over here. Try and find number two. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I see number two. Let's pick it up. Let's put it in our puzzle. Looking for the two dinosaurs. Let's place our two right there. Now we have cows. Moo, say the cows. Moo. How many cows do we see? One, two, three. Three cows. All right, let's come back down here. Let's look for number three. See number three? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you're at home. Hold up three fingers. You can do it this way, you can do it this way. Number three. Let's pick it up. Let's put it in our puzzle. Oh, look at giraffes. Giraffes have long necks. How many giraffes do we see? One, two, Three, four, four giraffes. Okay, hold up four fingers. Four fingers, hold them up. Let's look for four. Scan our numbers. It's gonna get easier as we use more numbers, so there'll be fewer choices left. What, what, do we see four? Yes, we sure do. Let's pick up that four. Let's put it in our giraffe. Oh, look at these guys, little tigers. How many tigers are there? One, two, three, four, five. Five tigers. Wow. Okay, let's try and find number five. Hold up five fingers at home. Ooh. C5. I see five. Did you hold your five fingers up? I'm going to take my five fingers and I'm going to grab <laughs> number five. Okay, let's put it in. There we go. Moving on to six. Ooh, what do we see? Pigs. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six pigs. You hold up six fingers. Now you guys got to do it on your own because I'm holding my cell phone with one hand so I can't hold up six fingers. But I'll find number six in our pile of numbers here. Uh, ha! We know it's a six because the line is underneath. Let's pick up our six. Let's put it right there. Okay. Oh, look at that. Penguins. How many penguins are there? It's getting crowded in our in our little circles now, isn't it? One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. Seven penguins. All right, hold up seven fingers. I'm trusting you to do that. I'm gonna look for number seven. What, what, what is that? Could that be seven? I think so. Let's pick seven up. Let's put it in our slot. Moving on up. Hummingbirds. Oh, so beautiful. How many hummingbirds? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight hummingbirds. Ooh. All right, let's look for number eight. Hold up eight fingers. Oh, is that eight? Yes, that's eight. Let's pick up eight. Let's put it in our slot. Blub, 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 blub. Blub, blub, blub. Next, do we have nine? Let's count. Make sure I'm right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine fish. Now look for nine. Oh, we didn't have to look very far. Which number is nine? Yeah, the one on top. That's nine. Let's put it right in there. Ba 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 black sheep. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. What number is this? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten sheep. All right, we don't have too many numbers left to choose from. Look at that. I'm going to line these up. Which number is ten? In the middle. There is ten. Hold up ten fingers. That would be all of your fingers on both hands. That makes ten. Like that. And then take your right hand, too, and... Hold them all up to make ten. I can only do five at a time. Or I'm going to drop my phone. Ten. Oh. Look, eleven. Let's make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. Which number is 11? And if you want to hold anything up, you're going to have to move to your feet because we don't have 11 fingers. We've just got 10. Here is 11. Let's pick it up. Let's put it in our clock. Leaves one number left. Big hint. Ooh, seahorses. We find those in the ocean with the fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, where could that twelve be? Where is it? Where could it be? Right there? Yes. Let's put it in our puzzle. Mmm, there we go. Let's make sure we have all of our numbers. In este momento, yo hablo un poquito español. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, doce numerales. There you go. 
now, and I thought would be really fun now that we've got our numbers in our clock, let's, let's, we played with that one. We're going to move the medium clock aside. We have our small clock. We have our large clock. Which clock do we want to use next? Large or small? Because we already used medium. Okay, cast your votes. Mm -hmm. I think there's only one way to make this decision. How, sh how should we decide if we want to use a large clock or the small clock? Oh, let's get the eight ball. It's it's all knowing. We can't use the phone app because I'm on the phone. Staring at our clocks. We have the magic eight ball. All right, let's ask eight ball. Oh, eight ball. Should we use? the large clock. Okay, I have to turn it over very gently because it's an old ball. And it says, I can't really read it in the video, but I can read it, without a doubt. All right, without a doubt, the eight ball wants us to use, there you go, now you can kind of see it there. It wants us to use the large all right, ball over there. There you go. The large clock. So I'm going to put it below the small clock. The small clock is above the large clock. The large clock is below the small clock. Both clocks are next to each other. There you go. Positional words. All right, we have some flashcards. We're going to look at time digitally and with analog. Dabble in it a little bit. See what you think. And at home, you can hold up your fingers. If you have a clock or a watch that you can be using, that would be great. You can practice there too. Our first card says one o'clock. There we go. Our clock already says one o'clock. Perfect. Digitally, one o'clock a.m. One o'clock. I'm going to move these over to the left so it makes more sense chronologically. And then we'll put our finished pile on the right. There we go. Let's look at our next card. I'm going to put it below. Two o'clock. What do we need to do to make this clock say two o'clock? Well, we're going to have to play with the hands of the clock. Maybe we better learn a little bit more about them first. This is your hour hand. It moves pretty slowly. This moves from number to number by the hour. The large red hand is the minute hand. It moves every minute. So while the minute hand moves quickly, the hour hand moves a little bit more slowly. And this is time. This is what happens with time when we're going about our days. Time just keeps going on and on and on and on. There. We've moved our minute hand back a whole hour because now, look, our hour hand, the small blue one, is on the two. Does it have the same time? What do you think? Yes, it sure does. It has the same time. Let's flip the card over. There's our digital time. Is that the same? 
Yes, two o'clock. How about that? Let's put that in the finished pile. Let's get another one. Oh, what time is that? Look at that. The hour hand is on the three, and the minute hand is on the twelve. All right. We've got to change the time. Here we go. We're moving our minute hand around. Up to the top. Hours take a lot longer than this. We're being pretty quick for, for uh, our practice. But there, our hour hand, the small blue one, has moved to the three. Our minute hand is back up at the 12. We won't worry about the red numbers today. That's counting minutes by, by fives. We'll just focus on hours today. So we'll, got yourself a 12 right there. Our minute hand's back on the 12. So it says 3 a.m. And it is indeed 3 o'clock. So we know we're doing right there. comes the next. Ah, what time is that? Where is the hour hand pointing? Is it on the four? I think so. So we need to make our large analog clock tell the same time. Here we go, let's move our minute hand all the way around. You can be doing this at home too with your clocks if you have them. Four o'clock. It's four o'clock. Our hour hand, small blue hand, is on the four. Our minute hand, large red hand, is on the twelve. Our digital clock says 4 o'clock a.m. Let's turn our card over. 4, 4 o'clock. There you go. Let's put it in our finished pile. Let's move on to the next clock. Here we go. What time is that? Where did our hour hand move? Let's see if we can get this clock to do the same thing. Here we go. Let's see if it end up looking just like that. There goes our minute hand around. Our hand is on the five, and our minute hand is back on the twelve. It says five o'clock. There you go. Five o'clock. We are doing very well with our time telling. Put it in finished. Let's get our next one. What time is that? Ooh, where is our hour hand? It has moved from the five to the six. Let's do the same up here. That was another quick hour. go. Our hour hand is on the six. Our minute hand is on the twelve. Six o'clock. Let's turn our card over. Indeed. Six o'clock. How about that? Put it in there finished. Something outside's quacking. That's hilarious. I should go look, but I don't want to stop the, the video. I'm getting more and more curious as time goes on, though. Let's look at our next time. Where'd our air hand go? Is that on a seven? 
Alright. Let's move this. Our hand is nearing the seven. Our minute hand moved around all of the numbers. And we look to be at seven o'clock. Turn the card over. Seven o'clock. There we go. Seven o'clock. Put it in our finished. Grab our next number from our pile. I oh, know. Yeah. What comes after seven? I think we're getting a pattern here, huh? Now it says eight o'clock on our card. Here we go. Around passing all of the numbers by minutes. Our hour hand is easing on into the eight as our minute hand comes back up to the 12. Our digital clock says eight o'clock. So does our card. Eight o'clock. That would normally be when we're on the bus and coming to school at eight o'clock. And we move our minute hand down that's when school starts, 8.20. We hope to be back in school so that we can see that time every day again. That would be awesome. Let's bring this up. 9 o'clock. That's usually when we go to the cafeteria and get breakfast at 9 o'clock. All right, let's take our minute hand. Go around up to... The nine, ta -da! nine o'clock, nine o'clock, and nine o'clock digitally. I right, hope you're enjoying playing along at home. Have our next card. Ooh, DS, our last DS, ten o'clock. We need to move our analog clock from nine to 10, because that's what the card is telling us to do. Get our minute hand. Watch it go round past all the numbers. Our hour hands go into the 10. There we go. Our minute hand is back up to the 12. And we have 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Yay! Finished pile there. Oh, look. Eleven o'clock. It's moved an hour past. Let's bring this around. Our hour hand is at the eleven and our minute hand is at the twelve. Now says eleven o'clock. The time is flying by, huh? Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. Look, there's only one card left. It says, what do you think? The hour hand and the minute hand are both on number 12. 12 o'clock. Let's talk a little bit about that. All these numbers happen twice a day, in the morning and in the afternoon. So, 12, 12 o'clock. That should move to p.m. Uh, apparently it's, there we go. 12 o'clock p.m. Lunchtime, that's when we eat lunch when we're in school. And when it's a.m., that means it's in the middle of the night and when we're sleeping. Yeah. But we're going to pretend it's lunchtime, 12 o'clock p.m. So we put this, uh, check that out real quick, in the finished pile. And then we have 12 more hours 
with the same the same numbers. So we're going to have 1 o'clock again, which is where we started. And I don't think we'll go around the clock again because we've been at this for a while. At least not with this one. You can see how time time moves. This one this one isn't quite as uh, responsive as, as that one. I have to move the numbers more. So that gives you an idea of time. In the hour hand, small. The minute hand, large. We will play with time more, but I think let's ask the eight ball. Eight ball, should we end our lesson now? Let's see what it says. Better not tell you now. Oh. Time is on our side. Yes, it is. Can you tell me now? Should we end the lesson? Let's see what it says. Yes. Yes. We need to end our lesson. Hope you've enjoyed studying about time today. And see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye time.